Hello, I'm Professor Wool, and today we'll discuss how to manage dynamic objects in cloud environments. So to give us context, uh, many cloud uh, infrastructure providers, whether public cloud or private cloud, uh, provide integration capabilities with firewalls protecting their environment in the sense of dynamic objects. Specifically, uh, if you have uh, servers or instances in your cloud environment, uh, you can tag them with a uh, logical name let's say Forex, assuming these three systems are uh, foreign exchange feeds. Um, and then once you tag them, you can use the logical name inside the firewall rules to allow or deny traffic from or to uh, all the servers that are currently tagged. So here you can see a rule, rule number 24, that refers to this object called Forex, allowing traffic from it to the trading system using HTTPS. Okay, so we have this in terms of background, and now let's see what this means to Network Security Policy Management Systems, or NSPMs. Uh, so, one of the functions of an NSPM is to be able to answer traffic simulation queries accurately and correctly. Uh, in particular, uh, let's say you want to find out whether traffic is allowed from 10.1.1.62 to this IP address, which is a trading system using HTTPS. Uh, in order to answer this query, uh, the NSPM needs to know the current definition of the Forex object uh, so that it can realize <coughs> that the IP address listed is actually not one of the three covered by the tag Forex right now, and therefore the answer to this query at the moment is no. But perhaps later on today you're going to power up a new Forex server and tag it with the same tag, then the definition would change inside the firewall rule and the NSPM should be able to answer at that time that the traffic is now allowed, which means that the NSPM has to really track the content of this dynamic object and uh, have the latest definition uh, recognized at all times. The next step is that an NSPM usually also issues audit alerts whenever anything changes in the security policy in the firewalls. Um, typically uh, uh, providing us with an audit trail for human actions that add or remove functionality from the filtering policy. Uh, if nothing special is done, uh, changes in the definitions of the dynamic objects may well trigger audit alerts because after all the firewall policy is changing any time uh, an IP address is added or removed from the tag. Um, and this may be uh, redundant because after all one of the big advantages of a cloud environment is that it's elastic and you might want to add or remove functionalities and add or remove uh, servers from the estate uh, based on demand and current needs and so uh, you might have many changes to the dynamic objects uh, being reflected in the firewall rules and as a consequence you may have uh, superfluous uh, audit uh, notifications from the NSPM which a good NSPM would let you suppress so that you will not see all these changes to the content of the uh, forex object because you know it's supposed to be dynamic. The next step in sophistication is dealing with change requests. So imagine the owners of the business application uh, for the trading system are adding new functionality to their system, uh, which requires all the Forex feeds to connect to the trading system using another port. Um, a good NSPM would look at this change request and identify that the IP addresses listed by the application owners exactly matches the current content of the tag Forex and suggests to create a rule on the firewall that uses the name of the dynamic object rather than the raw IP addresses um, of, that appear in the current change request. And this is of course much better because it future-proofs the rule anticipating that next week uh, even more uh, Forex feeds will be added and uh, you don't want to require a change to the firewall rules due to those future changes. An even better NSPM would in fact uh, realize 
that there is already a rule in the firewall rules, rule 24 in this example, that almost does what is required. Uh, the only thing that needs to happen is to modify that existing rule and just add the new port number to it, to the existing service. And after doing that, the combined rule will provide the functionality that was required before, in addition to the new change request that is currently being handled. So to conclude, uh, we can see that a good NSPM system uh, should be able to understand and track the dynamics of uh, these tagged objects and to react in an intelligent way uh, to their specific uh, functionalities uh, when object content changes, uh, whether added or uh, removed IP addresses from the tag. Thank you for your attention.